Oh man, hey guys, Bill here. You know, just when I thought we had all the giant piranha species covered in this series, along comes one I've never even heard of. My nephew, William Barbosa, who goes to the Presbyterian School in Houston, sent me a text the other day and asked me if I could go find a giant silver piranha. Now, I've heard of giant black piranhas, but giant silver piranhas? I don't even know what the heck that is. But you know what, William? I think I know somebody who just might know what they are. Amazon angler and fish finder, Steve Townsend. You wanted the giant black piranha, and I found you the giant black piranha. And now you want me to find you the elusive giant silver piranha. Well, we're gonna give it a go here on the Rio Vichada in Colombia. And Mr. Elek Diaz, who's the owner of the Tucunare Lodge here, he is gonna help me in my quest. Now, to be honest, I wasn't able to dig up very much information on this beast before I took off on my trip. But according to Steve and Alejo, these things can grow as big as, if not bigger, than the black piranha. Now, this is something I gotta see. No. Alejo said they could best be found in some of the lagoons not far from his lodge. That all sounded easy enough, but in reality, it was a pretty tough slog. The area was suffering from a drought, and the water in the creeks that led to the lagoons was way too low for the boat. Oh man, I was starting to think we had come a long way for nothing. I mean, even Steve was out huffing and puffing. I was waiting for someone to get stung by a freshwater stingray. I mean, they're really famous for hanging out in these little creeks, and believe me, they do live up to their nickname, Make Grown Man Cry. It took a little encouragement and some motivation, but we finally got going again. The lagoon turned out to be a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but as soon as Steve and Alejo got their hooks in the water, it was action time, ladies and gentlemen. This is fish after fish after fish. The place was filled with all sorts of fish, including these huge three-bar peacock and yeah, loads baby. of payaro, Vamos also fish. known as vampire fish. Esto es Colombia. We were just about to break for lunch when Alejo got something different on the way. When he got the fish closer, he said it was the piranha plateada. And that is the silver piranha we're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the silver piranha, or the piranha prateada. Look at the mouth. Arr, isn't it gorgeous colors? Beautiful. These get to about 10 pounds, according to our guide. 10 pounds. This thing, this puppy, has got a biting power that can cut through metal bars. You ain't gonna keep this guy in jail. <laughs> He's going back. Gone. You wanted to see a silver piranha? I got you one, Bill. Big beast. Wow, you weren't kidding, Steve. That thing really is a beast. And that's one of the smaller ones? Now that I had a picture of it, I was able to do a little more research. And based on comparisons with other piranha that seem to match it, it looks like it's officially called the Sarasamas Manueli Piranha, also sometimes called Manuel's Piranha. According to PiranhaInfo.com, this is the largest species of piranha on the planet. It can easily grow up to 20 inches long, or about 50 centimeters, and it can weigh up to 12 pounds, or about five and a half kilos.
Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank Stephen Alejo for helping me out with this one. And hey, you know what I got for you guys? I got a little pop quiz. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Now, we all know that the piranha has a powerful bite. We've all seen examples of that. But here's the question. Does it have the most powerful bite of all the animals in the world? Let me know what your opinion is below and then email me for an instant answer. All you have to do is just follow these instructions. In the subject of your email, make sure to write Piranha Bite just as you see it written here. Then send that to billschannel at gmail.com. But make sure the subject says Piranha Bite just like you see it. Otherwise, you might have to wait a few days to get your answer. And now, here's a little sneak peek at what's coming up next in this series. Sick and tired of him coming up the beach every time I'm trying to do my teeth. <laughs>